it! I've travelled back in time 106 million years to the time of Lee Elenosaura. Look, Hattie was right. There's snow on the mountains, even though it's summer. <sighs> Hopefully it'll be warmer in the forest. Well, this is where Hattie said Lielnasora lived, so I should find some eggshells around here somewhere. Hang on, what's that? If you look really closely, you'll see two sleeping Lielnasora, perfectly camouflaged in the green forest. I suppose in a cold place like this, you'd take any chance you could get to have a nice nap in the warm sun. Oh, look at them. I could wake them up and then follow them back to their nest. No, I'll let them sleep. Sweet dreams. This lot are wide awake. They're munching on some lovely green ferns. And this one is acting as lookout. Now, I don't suppose your nest is nearby at all? No? Any spare eggshells? No? Don't worry, it's all right. I'm not going to hurt you. It's a polar allosaurus one of the deadliest Australian dinosaurs that ever lived. <sighs> that was close. Now this one, the babies have already left. But this one looks in good shape. And I think I can hear a sound coming from inside. There's a hole. Allosaurus eggs. And I can hear the babies chirping from inside the eggs. Here he comes. I think he's calling for his mother. Hang on. Where is its mother? There's another one. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh, and that will be their mum. Um, I'm just going to... Whoa, that was close. Look at the size of those claws. It's not going to take her long to get to her babies. Here comes one now. Oops. Oh. And they are all the brothers and sisters. Now, hopefully, they should be off to get some food soon. But first, it looks like it's playtime. What's that one spotted? Two hungry Ornithalestes. I think they might be after the babies. I 
I need to get the mother's attention. It worked! She scared them away. I found Tyrannosaurus Rex. The babies! Oh, poor things. They must be hungry. I wouldn't stray too far. I'm sure Mum will be back with some food soon. What was that? Huh. Probably just some Didelphodons coming back. <laughs> oh, it's OK. She's just bringing them some food, which means she's probably eaten already. Which also means she won't want to eat me. Oh, obviously hungry. Mind you, they've got a lot of growing to do. It says here that the bite of a Tyrannosaurus Rex was three times stronger than the bite of a modern lion. And it could cut through the skin of almost any animal. Including this one. It's an Ankylosaurus. Although a plant eater, he's got such thick skin, he's not afraid of anything. And he's also got a huge bony club on the end of its tail. And that could definitely injure a T-Rex. Oh! Things are really hotting up here. Be careful! Oh, well, that was completely unnecessary. I think she's hurt. I'm going to go after her. Resting. Great. Now I can get an imprint of her skin. Right. Modeling clay. Brilliant. Yes, look at that, it worked. Okay. Clock. Just enough time to get back to the museum before it opens. On Andy's Dinosaur Adventure. Hey, join the crew! Looking at the dinosaurs collecting something too.